Start by removing the side center console piece. This blue tool came with my dash cam. If you don't have one, Amazon has pry tool kits for like five bucks. You could even use a butter knife, just you might scratch the plastic, be advised. And when you run the power cable, I found it much easier to actually mount the camera where you'd like it, run it along the top, and come down. This assures that you have enough power cable left over when you get to the power source. For this side panel, again, use the plastic tool, and it should pop open. It has some resistance due to all the clips, but just pull back on it and it'll pop open. You shouldn't break anything. Run the cable along the back here, and you see there, that's where you want to run it through. There's a little gap where it won't pinch. Pull back on the weather strip, and that will reveal uh, an area where you can tuck the cable up, or down, since you're coming down. When running it on the roof liner here, when you tuck it up, it should sit on the roof liner. If for some reason it doesn't, just put a piece of tape so it holds that little gap and it won't fall out. I left some give on the power cable here. This is due to the fact that if you need to review it while you pull over or something happened, you can easily dismount it from the mount and pull it down so nothing's taped on or you don't have any brackets. So you can just pull it down and you could review it while you're pulled over. You can see there I tucked it in and the cable just sits on the roof liner. And in this corner, I pushed it in with my finger. And once you push it into the crevice, you can just keep guiding it with your finger. I didn't really need the tool here. I just made sure to push in in case it was getting pinched. But you'll see, it's very easy to just push in with even one hand. run the cable down and on the side of the panel there on the bottom there was a little gap so make sure you run it through where it won't pinch Re reattach the weather strip also for the side panel just close it with your fist on the bottom there's a little gap where it will run out without getting snagged On top of these plastic pieces with your tool, you can wedge the cable in and then run it under the glove box. Again, if for some reason the cable falls out under the glove box, you could just use a little piece of tape, but wedging it in like this held it in very securely. Make sure not to cover those black looking rectangular slots. That's where the clips will fasten. I'll show you here how simple it is to remove again. Just pull straight back. I use three pieces of tape to hold the cable securely. This is just to make sure it doesn't pinch on any part. And for the power cable, don't run it on the left how it is right now, run it over, because if you leave it on the left, it's gonna be uh, getting pinched when you close your armrest. I cut a slot so the power cable runs up through that part, and it's gonna look very flush if you give it enough space. This allows me to completely close this plastic, and by running it over, it's not going to pinch when you close your armrest. Nice clean click. I ended up having about three extra feet of power cable left, which is good. That's what you want. You don't want it to run too short. And I ended up plugging it on under the armrest because I felt it was a more flush area compared to in front of the shifter. Use a piece of tape. This allows you to keep that cable down so it doesn't pop up. And one last look at 
how flush it is, you will only see the cable uh, behind the rearview mirror and that's because I left some give. Make sure to reformat your memory card if you are installing a dash cam and a memory card that allows the memory card to conform to your dash cam. Hope you guys enjoyed.